Graphical input is the most versatile of the input methods in SpaceGAS because any changes you make to your model are immediately seen visually. Its ability to let you make changes to a large number of items simultaneously is also extremely useful. To input a new model graphically, we could display a reference grid, set a snap spacing, click the Draw Members button, and then simply start drawing. Using the coordinates displayed at the bottom right corner of the screen to position each point. This method is ideal if the nodes are located at snap points. However, if not, the more powerful keyboard input method is recommended. Let's start again, but this time we will simply type in the coordinates of each point. As soon as we begin typing, an input field appears. To locate the first point at the global origin, we simply type 0 and then click the OK button or press the keyboard Enter key. We can then continue to input coordinates for the remaining nodes. If the Y or Z coordinates are omitted, they are assumed to be 0. For example, 12,8,0 0 could just be entered as 12,8. You can see that this was just as quick as the previous method, but we were also able to position the points exactly where we wanted them, with whatever accuracy was required. We recommend that you use the keyboard input method whenever you are drawing new members or plates that can't be attached to existing objects. However, when attaching to existing objects, it's much better to select them with the mouse. For example, we could add some rafter props by typing in the coordinates of the bottom ends that don't connect to anything, and clicking with the mouse at the ends that connect to existing nodes or members, ensuring that the circle attached to the cursor touches the object we are connecting to. Note that when we attach the second prop to the rafter, it snaps to the midpoint of the rafter and subdivides it. This is controlled by the Attach setting. If you look at the Attach button on the bottom toolbar, you can see that it is set to Middle End. This setting means that when attaching to a member, the attachment point will be at the middle or at either end, whichever is closest to the mouse cursor. The attach behavior can be changed by clicking the attach button and then choosing the required setting. Once the basic model has been created, we can select nodes, members, or plates by clicking them individually or by using a selection window. To deselect items, we just select them again. When using a selection window, if the second corner is to the right of the first, then only those members or plates that fall entirely within the window are selected. This is called a normal selection window. Alternatively, if the second corner is to the left of the first, the selection window is shown using a broken line and any members or plates that fall within or cross the boundary of the selection window are selected. This is known as a crossing selection window. Once the required objects have been selected, we can click the right mouse button to display a menu of input, editing, and querying tools. For example, if we click the Properties Form item, a window showing the properties of the selected items is displayed. We can use this to view information or make changes. If multiple items have been selected, some of the fields may be blank. A blank field signifies that the data represented by the field is not the same for all of the selected items. Be careful when typing into a blank field, because all of the selected items will be allocated that value. For example, if we type into the blank Node A field, all of the selected members will then be attached to that node. Let's undo that last change. A quick way to get to the Properties form for a single item is to simply double-click on it. 
we can then click on any other item to display its properties in the form. In the next video, we will build on the fundamentals of graphical input shown here to create a practical model.